Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob here. We're back for another reaction video. I'm reacting to the guy who's come across our screen many times in this list so far, but he, he, he's come across, you know, as memorable for one reason and one reason only. And it's his neck. It is literally the thickest neck I've ever, ever seen. It comes out further than his ears. Hopefully we can get a front-on shot at some point. If not, I'm going to look up his mugshot. But before we do that, let's get into the video, guys. Number 23 on the list. Let's fucking go. What did they say? I can guess who you put number one, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Well, that is that is front-on. And to be fair, yeah, his neck's even thicker than first thought. Can you imagine the power that's generated? I'll meet you at the quarterback after I get off of him. I see. That happened a lot this past season. Oh, yeah? Big sack there by Cam Jordan. Cam Jordan had a career high 15 and a half sacks. And he's taken down from behind Cam Jordan with the sack for the Saints. Jordan is one of the most dominant defenders of the past decade. When it comes to voting for the top 100, he knows his worth. I'm just putting out, you know, pipe dreams here. He just asked for number one, he just, you know, I put down the first name that came through my mind. I looked in the mirror and thought it was me. I like James Jordan. <laughs> oh. He's gonna be wrapped up in the backfield. Cam Ezekiel Elliott likes Cam Jordan. Which is interesting because he'd be tackled by Cam Jordan quite a lot. Ezekiel Elliott was in the last video. Let's have a look at Cameron Jordan and his stats. Cameron Tyler Jordan is a veteran. He's 31 years of age. He's six foot four and 287 pounds, or in metric terms, 130 kg. He's picked number 24 in the first round of the 2011 draft. And I'm not surprised he was named in the NFL 2010's All Decade Team. I'm honestly not surprised. As soon as I heard that he'd been dominating for the whole decade, I knew that he'd be in line for that all-decade team. And he was. Has he got 100 sacks yet? Not quite. He's got 92.5 sacks in 154 games. In the year that we're referring to, he played 16 games, he got 53 tackles, 37 of which were solo, 15 and a half sacks, as we heard, and three passes deflected. Playing defensive end for the Saints. And prior to that season starting, on June 11th, 2019, the Saints signed Jordan to a three-year, $52.5 million contract extension. So no wonder he went hard. Let's go. Jordan. He gonna play the run as good as he's gonna play the pass. The idea, like, they get paid to make sacks. So sometimes, you know, they're not really that interested when, it's, when you run the ball. But he's one of those guys, you know, gonna play the run. Interesting. Interesting interesting um, analysis by Ezekiel Elliott there. I haven't heard it before. But as a running back who has attempt after attempt after attempt, he can tell that certain defensive ends lose interest when they know that the running back is running with the ball. You know, they know that there's plenty of other people on the field. One of them will probably wrap this guy up. But if the quarterback keeps the ball, they know it's a passing play, then they, their eyes light up, right? They get paid to make sacks. But at the end of the day, if you're a defensive end, You've got to be a good pass rusher, but you've also got to be a good, uh, what do they call it? Run stopper? I'm not sure. Am I talking shit right now? Let's continue. He just got me. Look, if this guy's six foot five, no, he's six four, isn't he? Yes, six foot four, 287. Look at this fucker. Imagine running out into a stadium like that at night. Imagine that. Can you imagine it? Add some smoke to it, and it'll be the absolute most epic moment of your life. These guys get these guys get to do it every single weekend. Deserve that all pro. But in this situation, he got a one-on-one rep, and he get real wide. Right now, I can tell that the tackle is nervous. <laughs> oh, he's nervous, all right. Under pressure again. Cam Jordan chasing him down, and he'll bring him down to the. Ground. It's just like the cornerback that got absolutely flattened yesterday by De by. Uh, Derek Henry, you know, when he when he realizes, okay, it's going to be me that's going to be the one that has to try and take this guy down. He does. He stutters for a second. He gets nervous. 
You've got to have supreme confidence at all time in your ability on the NFL field, don't you? Supreme confidence. If you have anything but, you're going to get found out. down was the whole key to this, and he just made it happen there. That's some legendary stuff. Cam Jordan just used his speed to blow by the tackle. A bull pull, sack, Kyler Murray. I'd already missed him two times. He's just so tiny. He's just so tiny. Uh, this guy's 31, okay. He slips in, he slips in and out. It's pretty impressive. Bro, what is that 71 doing? He's just so tiny. You know, he slips in, he slips in and out. It's pretty impressive. Come on, bro. I'm not sure how tall he is. That elf. Yeah, they'll be looking at that in the film room. To move. There's a young kid that was at the tackle position. You gotta take advantage of the young ones when you can. Got <laughs> pressure and he's- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> That is the first time throughout this whole entire series that I've spat my drink out. And that is because he's just made reference to the young guys, right? You're coming up against a rookie, you're coming up against a young guy, right? When you're a veteran. You've got to take advantage of those situations, and that's exactly what he does. Hit in the backfield, Cam and I'm glad. Cam just overpowered the right tackle. It was a good bull. I think he cost him here. I think he might have gone surfing for a second, and I appreciated that about him. Well, did he? I think he cost him here. Oh, yes, he did. He's off the ground. I think he might have gone surfing for a second, and I appreciated that about him. He took us for four in one game this, this year, so, so I mean, he, he a beast, man. He got four sacks in one game. Matt Ryan's been good to me over the years. That's probably his favorite team to play. Ah, uh, okay, yes. He's called Matt Ryan a sack lunch in the past, and it's most likely because he got four sacks on him in one game. Probably got something to do with the fact that he has a lot of success against him. Under pressure, and he goes down. The Falcons have seemed to be his his uh, his team that he just kind of takes it to another level against. Pumps to throw under pressure, and he's taken down. <laughs> him and Matt Ryan would have a funny uh, funny old relationship, wouldn't they? Is like so fast and so efficient. He's a dog, man. He's a dog. Cam Jordan. With his third sack of the game. Oh. You could say this Thanksgiving uh, closing of the game sack would probably be my best one. Ryan looking to throw. Under pressure. And he's taken down. He's taken down Cam Jordan again. See, Matt Ryan probably has about a second and a half from the snap to get that ball off before Cam Jordan is sacking his ass. A second and a half, that's not long. Four sacks on the game for Cam Jordan, and your best player takes over when you need it to... They need the tackles to be doing their job, I'm telling you that. It's a beautiful thing when you're able to not only, you know, in the game with the sack, but uh, in the Falcons game with the sack. Ah, those good old dirty birds. They won't be rising up this year. Oh my god, we've done a fair few today, haven't we? Oh, we. Oh, we. We have been putting in the work. Sometimes you forget about which players, how many players you've actually got through on a particular day. But today, I'm happy to say, we've actually got through like 20 players. And I've had so much fun doing it. And then, oh my god, and the next one, it's Tyreek Hill. Fuck, we did. Come on, man, this is meant to be hard. This is meant to be hard to sit here for hours and hours on end. But I tell you what, the last few days after getting into this new environment of mine, it's certainly not. It's not at all. In fact, I'm fucking loving it. And I tell you what, I've got the exact jersey for the next video. It's Tyreek Hill. He's number 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's had his off-field issues, but as far as on-field, he is one of the most explosive, one of the most exciting players I've ever seen. And we're about to find out exactly what his peers think of him. He's about five foot nine. I'm gonna give him five foot nine. Possibly, I think he's listed at five ten, but I doubt whether he is. He's run a four two flat forty yard dash. I'm led to believe. And if it's not recorded at four two flat, he's certainly done it before. He's number twenty two on the list. His name's Tyreek Hill. He is he's an excitement machine. He plays for the the Super Bowl winning Chiefs, and he's one of my favourite players. And I cannot wait to make this video. So guys, if you've enjoyed this one, please hit the like button. If you want to stick around for the next one and you don't know when it's going to come, hit that subscribe button, but better yet, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you shortly. Peace out, guys. Have a great night.